Hello everybody. It's been a while since I've done any kind of tank update. But today, I want to talk about the large angelfish group. Um, in my tank, I have one, which there he is, has to come and say hello. He is a passer angelfish, which is in the group Holocanthus. Um, there's also, a, you know, the Pomacanthus, you know, the emperors and, and all that kind of stuff. But he's in the same group uh, as the queen angelfish and so on. But the theory is just is the same that I want to talk about today. And if you guys look at my videos, you'll see nice, beautiful hammer corals. And it makes me sick just to talk about it. But I feel like, you know, I get asked this question. I'm going to be I'm totally honest in my videos. So, I had a lot of nice uh, hammer corals. I had torch corals, um, including a dragon soul. These are the hammers I have left. I have that one, and I have these, and that's it. That is it. He alone demolished torches and hammer corals. He doesn't bother my brain coral. Those are candy apple red, uh, or excuse me, candy apple uh, brain corals. Go ahead and touch them there. That one's the uh, baby off of that one. Doesn't touch that. Doesn't touch that. Um, that's a uh, chalice. Doesn't touch any of my SPS coral. None of those get touched. Or anemones. There's a tube anemone right here. Doesn't touch any of my anemones. Thank God he didn't touch my blue carpet anemone. And these are galaxy corals. Does not touch these as well. Or any Montes either. It's a Superman Monty right there. There's my Lunkia starfish. I've had him for a few months now. Um, so these these kind of these guys have kind of been in the shade. So I'm hoping they'll color back up again. He thank God he doesn't touch my prize coral, which is my Gani. And he doesn't touch my clam. Every now and then he'll have a look at my clam, but the clam closes before he can even think about doing anything. So I'm kind of bummed out about that, but it is what it is. Um, I'm, you know, as we all know, it's harder, harder and harder to get some of the fish we like, and I've waited a long time to get him. He has a lot of personality. I can hand feed him. I can pet him. Um, he rubs against my arm when I put my... Um, hand in the tank so I kind of got a liking to the little guy even though he's kind of aggressive which holocanthus are but this is going to be my advice to you guys if anybody is out there new new to tanks or had a tank a long time and they want to try a larger angel which I think they're beautiful and they add a lot to a tank um I would go ahead and I mean I I had to get rid of my I traded in my acans I was lucky enough to catch that before anything happened so I traded in all my acans however I wasn't prepared I mean he decimated um, torches and hammers and no time flat you know and, he, and he's pretty sneaky about it too because I watched my tank a lot and I didn't see him doing it and then all of a sudden I started catching him doing it. And my other little angelfish right here, that little guy, a little flameback angel, African flameback, he doesn't do, he's pretty good. He hasn't really uh, bothered many corals, so I kind of can't really say anything bad about him. But, yeah, he himself, yeah, he's just bad. Yeah, a look at what's going on. But, um, so I would suggest... That just keep the corals that you have in your tank. Um, if you do have acans, I can tell you, or zoas, almost any uh, larger angelfish, they're going to go for those first. They like the fleshy corals, meat corals, uh, scolies, uh, acans. I mean, if you want to risk it, you can try and see. It, it You know, it'll, it may take a few months, but they'll, like him, he just, you know, took a few months and then wham. So, um, you know... You can always leave them and see, and um, you know that's up to you. 
and then take them out. But that's that's what I would recommend. And then you know, eventually, if you want to keep an angelfish, it's gonna to have to be a trade-off, you know. So eventually, I'll probably have I'll probably get a couple more brain corals. He doesn't touch those. And I'll probably convert my tank over to mostly SPS coral, minus a few um, harder brain corals like these guys. I'll probably, if I find one I really like, I might get a larger one. Uh, some Montes, Superman Montes look nice. And what, like I said, I hope these color up. If not, I'll, you know, trade them in or whatever. And um, I'm hoping that'll color, color up. That was in kind of a bad spot. So now he's in a better spot to get more light. So this chalice, I'm hopefully, you know, chalices are pretty hardy, so and nothing bothers it. But that's my plan. Um, it's unfortunate in this hobby, you know, that we can't have corals we like and the fish we like. It's a trade-off. So, and I don't want to foul or tank. You know what I mean? I really, I really do like corals. So, um, so I am gonna eventually. Uh, convert everything over to SPS like I said minus a few hard brain corals they don't get touched um, like these and probably put some bubble corals in the sand and um, one of my newest additions um, so anyway that's my advice just watch your corals if you want to get one you have to you'll, eventually you'll have to make a decision between a coral and an angelfish because they it, and it also another thing i want to point out too it doesn't seem to matter and i've tried everything you know people say oh if you overfeed them if you feed them a lot feed them three or four times a day you know it doesn't matter i tried all that you know all it did was you mess your water quality up you know um, it didn't really do any good. Um, so, not at least for me it didn't. I mean, you can always try it, you know, don't take my word for it. You can always try it, but it didn't really help, you know. They're going to eat what they're going to eat, and that's what they eat in the wild. So, um, you can't, and I don't care what anybody says, you cannot train your fish, to your angel to either to eat, not eat coral. They're either going to do it or they're not. And... Most uh, holocaurs, um, pomacanthus, you know, any of those are going to be not reef safe. So just keep that in mind. He doesn't bother, obviously, he doesn't bother shrimp. He doesn't bother these little guys. Um, doesn't bother my blue starfish back there, you know. He just likes euphelia. So, you gonna say hello to everybody at the camera right now? You gonna go in his little hole? But anyway, I kind of took a liking to the guy, so I'm going to, not gonna get rid of him. But anyway, that's just my two cents. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to let me know. Give me a, you know, go ahead and message me. Um, so, anyway, thanks for watching. And, um, again, I'll be happy to answer any questions. Or if anybody has any experiences um, they want to share, please feel free. And thanks again for watching. And if you like my channel, uh, like my uh, video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it, guys. Happy reefing.